fantastic. Paul <laughs> Ellis, music producer, Sarah Longbottom, alternative uh, educator. Alternative educator. Uh, join me now on the panel. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Great to have you both back again. Alternative educator. Educator of alternative... Things. <laughs> a little bit of things. Like kids have been excluded from mainstream school oh, right, and, right, and alternative right. education. Oh, right. Other yeah. option educator, sort yes, of. Yes, yeah. um, Brilliant to have you both in. Um, and just quickly, a hip-hop movie. Would you go to a hip-hop movie? I'd definitely go to a hip-hop movie before the Superman, Batman... Blah, blah, oh, blah, you don't blah. need to go to that now. We've no, sorted that. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Superman would. Well, super, you're agreeing. Superman would win in the in the. I th- oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's a no-brainer. Don't, don't care. No, no, it's hard <laughs> yeah. to care. I'll go to hip hop. I'll go to hip- see the hip hop. Would movie. you? Yeah. Yeah. What the hell is wrong with me? Am I the only person that won't go yeah, to see it? You, you ain't go out though. So <laughs> mm, like. no, that's true. That's true. Because for fear there might be other people in the cinema. Yeah. Um, all right, hospital violence. I mean, on the increase. Is this just extraordinary, Paul? It's really, really sad, and it's really sad that these figures have come out. Was it 2013? So. Yeah. I'd imagine that the violence has escalated has in that time. It's got worse in that time. Yeah. And so, you know, better security at hospitals totally for the great people that... Know. Isn't it tricky, though? What do you do? Because, and, and, and we've asked the poll, 76% of people say you wouldn't treat them. Right. Um, State them. But you can't not do that, can you, really? I mean, if you were in an emergency ward and someone was acting violently, you would certainly not prioritise their treatment, would you? No, you'd just sedate them, wouldn't you? Yeah. You can, what you with? Can, you can't not, <laughs> with a mallet. You cannot not treat them. <laughs> no. I mean, we can sit here and say you wouldn't treat them. We're not doctors. We haven't taken the Hippocratic Oath. We don't work in that environment. We're not health carers. They're not there to judge. Mm. They're there to serve. Right. But, you, but they're also human beings, aren't they? They are. And you can't help but judge. And, I mean, how can you not look at these people? With the possible exception of people that are not behaving rationally because there is something actually, because they're, they're oh, in they're some unwell. way they're compromised yeah, because they're, they're unwell. unwell. Yeah. But for people that are there because of something they've done to themselves, mm-hmm. you know, for pe- people who have taken too much drugs or too much alcohol, I mean, God, how could you, how could you treat them well? I think when they're what, violent you, towards you. I th- but I think that's that's the clincher. I'm not saying that it's right, but I'm saying if you're a doctor, that's your that's job. That's what you buy in you know, for. And that's the profession, that's that's your life. I think that the same well, as, as a teacher, yeah. there's violence against teachers in the classroom. That's it's why not I could great, never do obviously, it. Obviously, mm. but you, you are there to do a job, and mm. I think you're, you'd hope that your empathy is um, possibly a little bit higher than a... The um, mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I say oh, but security is yeah, one of the security, answers. Yeah, but totally. isn't yeah. that, I mean, you know, you, you don't want your DHBs to have to fork out a huge amount in the budget for security. Isn't it a well, tragedy that they have to? Yeah. Um, all right, now, this is a tricky one. Um, Dan and Onakata, obviously, they, they, there are some suggestions mm. they've called in the lawyers, but certainly they were unhappy with a Woman's Day photograph that showed them with their son on, on um, Dan's shoulders. Right. Now, these people are in the public eye. They're public figures. They were in a public place. Where do you stand on this? Um, I think that uh, kids are off, off limits, basically. Mm. And that's the, I mean, obviously, they've sold their wedding. They've, they've lived their yep. party life in they magazines. they bought into it. Yeah, they have. But, you know, maybe the magazine was after the story and didn't get the story, so they thought they'd snap, um, pepper out some mm. just to be a bit mean about the whole thing. Mm. Um, it wouldn't be I the actually, first time that had happened. No, I mean, I, I have a bigger issue that uh, it wasn't the lead story of a, a paper, and you say, yep. um, a Sunday paper, may at least story and sort of inflamed the whole conversation and brought it to a whole new level. I wasn't aware of it about the incident until the, mm. that paper. But isn't that so often the case? So the original incident is virtually insignificant. Correct. But the coverage of the incident yeah. is the thing that actually mm-hmm. creates It was the... a private letter from a lawyer to the magazine yep. and then the hero picked up on that and, and you know, put it on steroids, basically. Where do you stand on this, Sarah? Because at the end of the day, public place, public couple, it, I mean, it, it wasn't an offensive photograph. Well, I agree that kids are off limits and I think mm. that... It is an indictment on the media as well, and potentially where the media Why is going. Why are kids off limits? Because they don't, they don't have a say. They, yeah, they, they don't have a say what their parents do. No. You know, and I think it's in New Zealand. I don't think we want to create that paparazzi culture. Mm. And I think it does come down to the Herald and to the women's magazines to. They're the ones who should be held to account in this situation. Yeah. I can't believe that I'm not not really... I don't care, really. Yeah, I, mean, I don't really care either, but... <laughs> <laughs> we, an opinion. we had but an opinion. we are talking about it. it was like, yeah. No, that's right. So yeah. we have to care because we're talking yeah. about but it. But this has been around before. There was another broadcaster that had his kids snapped about yeah, a decade right. ago. Yeah. You know? yeah. And that and case got thrown out. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Because, I mean, and that case came down to the fact the clincher was the public place, the public environment. Mm. If you're in a public environment, the public can see you when you're out there. So what's the difference between that and the public seeing a photograph of you being there? Yeah, you know? so people, are, friends of mine who have kids on Facebook, they actually don't put photos of their kids on Facebook because no. otherwise their whole kids' lives are online. So they make that choice for sports people or people in the public eye. They don't 
they're not able to make that choice. No. So if it's in the public eye, they're wandering around Britta Mart, wherever the hell they were, that's fine, and we might see them, but it's quite another thing to, for that kid yeah. to live their life in a doctor's waiting room. Yeah, it's like know? that whole thing of, um, of... Actually, you used to have this, Judy, didn't you? Do you remember when they photographed what you were buying in the supermarket? <laughs> People would take <laughs> photographs of Judy's yeah. trolley in the <laughs> supermarket. She got that? Oh, no, no, yeah, she's a, putting on weight. She's buying budget brand. <laughs> <laughs> on her salary. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back in just a moment on Paul Henry with our panel, 25 past eight. All right, welcome back. Great to have you with us. The panel are with us just for another uh, sort of minute and a half. Uh, Sven Gali, Paul Ellis and Sarah Longbottom, <laughs> creative educator, join us in the studio. I say Sven Gali now because it turns out Paul wasn't happy with what we were calling him. <laughs> but you're just a moneymaker, really. You just like... Let's help people along their career paths. Yeah, you know? I mean, it would be really unfair to say leech. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be really unfair. Yeah, go, yeah, but you no. find people with talent and make money out of them. Is that and, right? And they make money as well. And you help them make money. Yeah, correct. Absolutely, exactly. absolutely. Yeah. And I'm pleased to say a very good friend of mine. Thank um, you. All right, very quickly, let's talk about foreign buyers. So Labor come perilously close to actually releasing a policy, <laughs> or at least a policy indication, Sarah. And in doing that, they expose a list of names, um, Chinese names, mm -hmm. uh, and have formulated an opinion based on that. The media focused only on the fact that they considered it to be racist. What do you consider it to be? Well, I think the fact that it's um, a list of Chinese names, not necessarily. I think the um, uh, surname, for example, Wong, is also uh, used in other Asian countries. Aren't you clutching so at straws? No, really I'm not though? clutching at straws. I'm I making a point. This is I think a straw here, Paul. <laughs> no, I think um, I think it's a political point that's been made, and I think that yes, there has been racial profiling to make that political point. But is racial profiling always racist? Well, I think in this case it is. I think it's quite mm. xenophobic what they're doing. Yeah. You know, I think it's really quite evil. And it's saying to the rest of the world, don't come to New Zealand because you can't buy a house. Well, I don't think that's what they're saying. Well, I don't think that's what they're saying. And, and I think the key here is that the policy that comes out of it, and please God don't think I'm supporting Labour, although it does sound like it, but the policy that comes out of this, um, if it's not to be racist, has to cover all races equally, which is what their suggestion is. Yeah, and also it's an Auckland problem. You know, people in Pickland that is and, true. and Blenheim and Invercargill, they don't care about this at all because no. they can go and buy a house. Mm. It's just an Auckland problem with a shortage of housing. But there's 33% mm. of the population up here in glorious Auckland. Yeah, and also so how Auckland operates does affect yeah. the overall economy. So, in fact, what you're saying is wrong. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> again, <laughs> again. All right, Paul well, Sarah Longbottom, thank you so much for coming in. And you will come back. Won't you? You'll yeah, both come back. That's good because yeah. I feel I might have upset you, Paul. <laughs> um,